Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy, and this is the BTL Gred XA, a mouse that I have already reviewed. This is a new colorway, though, but a lot has changed since the last time I reviewed it. And also, people have been saying that this mouse is a medium Starlight 12, so I am legally obligated to make a video debunking that. Okay, but putting all jokes aside, the Vancer Gred XA, it used to be the BTL, and then it switched, whatever, um, is available shipping from the United States, either from Addis Inc. or Nacho Customs, probably more people in the future, for $80 as a 3370, 68 grams. It is nearly an identical clone of the Starlight 12. I'm sure you can see that the sides are slightly different in the way they flare out, and also the hump, it feels a bit higher in the back on the final mouse, uh, but I'm telling you, these shapes are super similar, and if you finger tip they will feel identical i think the gred xa is a really good value wireless mouse at 80 dollars um especially if you want to try the final mouse shape like don't get the hk gaming series m or whatever it's like wired trash anyways uh, but this just feels to me like a glorious starlight 12 like if glorious were to make a plastic version of the starlight 12 because this mouse has a lot in common with the model o i've realized um, aside from the shape, which is obviously the biggest difference, they're similar weights. Um, they both have like Omron 20M's shitty side buttons. It's like the resemblance is pretty uncanny. Uh, but I would say the Gred XA is my preferred mouse of the two. The quality concerns, they are still there. Uh, my side buttons are really fucking mushy. My top side button came defective, but I just gave the sides a nice like huge squeeze and it like popped it into place. Um, so that's fixed. My side buttons haven't had any issues i did have issues on my old batch as well once again recommend watching that video for like a full review uh the switches have a lot of pre-travel as you can see that's towards the top though um where i click it isn't really that bad but yeah you can really understand that this is not a perfect quality mouse i'm sure people are gonna say the starlight 12 is not either and I will say absolutely, but the point I'm trying to get across is that with the Vanser Gred XA, you're going to be getting that glorious, like, ponage level of plastic mouse build quality, where it's not elite, it really doesn't compare to the Super Light. The, at this point, the Viper Ultimate is in the price range if you buy it without the dock, and I don't really like the shape or the clicks of the Viper Ultimate, but it's a higher quality mouse at a similar price. I would say that this is, like I said before, the glorious Starlight 12. It would make a lot of sense for Vancer to update the switches in this mouse to kill 8.0s in an updated batch, maybe even change the side button design because they've been wonky on both of my copies. I was having a misinput issue with my first one and uh, double clicking on my mouse 5, but that is seems to no longer be an issue on this updated one. This coating, I was like, oh my god, so cool. Red and metallic, metal mouse, metallic plastic mouse, basically the same exact thing and i think it does look very nice this coating is like glossy though it's sort of sticky as well um it's not an issue with sweat or like dirt getting stuck on the mouse but it is uh sticky and it's not a normal like matte plastic feeling these other versions like the white one you can just get that if you want the normal plastic mouse feeling um so yeah it's not top tier quality but eight eighty dollars nobody's expecting that it's a wireless offering of the starlight 12 medium shape with a 3370 which is implemented well um personally like, you can notice a difference in feeling when you compare it to the starlight 12 medium but i'm so i'm almost positive that's just due to the like big weight difference there's no software as far as i know not sure what the debounce time is set to i don't think you're really getting like top top tier performance out of this mouse it does go into rest mode really quick and you have at least for me i have to click to get out of it um so it's a mild inconvenience but it's nothing serious and the battery life does seem to be very good the stock feet are really scratchy at first and then they just turn into still scratchy feet but very fast um, so they're all right for textured pads you do get an extra set nobody makes aftermarket feet yet as far as I know I don't know if this is like a stolen mouse foot design the old batch came with these pre-cut grips that's no longer the case so you do have to deal with the holes on the side and that's really going to be all for this video. It's nice that the mouse is available in the United States now. You used to have to get it through fucking Taobao. I made a tutorial on how to do that, but that's no longer the case. Um, and it is priced affordably for what you're getting. You get that uh, 
premium USB-C wireless experience checks all the boxes. Um, it's just not a Starlight 12 killer, and at the price, you can't expect it to be. Um, I'm just uh, making that known because I've seen it getting tons of praise, which it definitely deserves, and I have been giving it, but I do not see this being somebody's like long-term main that does not somehow um, deteriorate on them in terms of quality, but the shape is really safe for a variety of hand sizes and grips. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, I'll leave the links in the description. Go watch the review of this batch if you want like a full review with info that I did not give here or something. Um, but yeah, that's going to be all. Like and sub if you enjoyed. Peace. Uh, EC3 review soon.